Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So let's talk about motherboards. I have got some thoughts about this, you know, and I'm buying a new motherboard, new PC for AM5, Ryzen 7000 CPU. And look at this video from Hardware Unbox. Look, he tested all of this for us, guys. Pretty amazing. He spent so much time testing different motherboards. So definitely like and subscribe if you haven't already. Amazing video. So as you can see, I've done a lot of investigation. Investigation means a lot of YouTube. A lot of browsing by investigation, you know, sounds smarter, like my IQ is already 20 points higher. My investigation results, guys, only few motherboards make sense, but one in particular. So what is that? Luckily, guys, I think the cheapest one, one of the cheapest one is the best one. Let's have a look. I also check this guy, actually hardcore overclocking, which is well known as a bullzoid. Very well known uh, overclocker. Like and subscribe. Look, he was talking about motherboards for one hour almost. For one hour and he he likes the subject so much that it's kind of contagious like you want to listen to that you want to listen what what he has to say so yeah very very cool amazing this guy he explained the difference between motherboards you know between 650 620 x 670 and guys like this is like known that only this one makes sense only this one this is rubbish it's and it's not even cheaper by the way it's just rubbish and this one is overpriced so only this one makes sense because this one gets two of these controllers instead of one and you don't need them for gaming it's, it's really pointless i also listened to this guy and he got different take i really like what he said because i wasn't aware motherboards have different sound quality different codecs different shielding some motherboards have more noise like hissing and sissing you can hear especially when you connect to to speakers so i you know i didn't even think about this for me sound is sound like i thought all of them sound pretty much the same unless you go with dedicated sound card which is not very popular these days it used to be in the past but now everybody has just integrated sound so i thought sound is just sound but no apparently there is there is a difference between them said so, oh interesting actually i may have a look at this however he mentioned this guys that 670 offers you faster gpu and ssd slots which is very misleading because it's kind of true but not exactly true and i will show you guys what, what's the real difference look this is x you know this is the difference this by the way there's two versions of each b650 and 650e and the same for this one and look, they're pretty much the same. And Max PCI lanes the same. PCI Generation 5. Look, this one has more lanes than this one. Yeah, this one got zero, but this one got more than this one. And the same as this one. So what's the point of going there? The main difference, paying a lot more for this one, is got more USB. It's still not exactly like that. I, I will show you. You can get really good motherboards like, you know, from this range that can easily compete with those easily but you pay more and look this is amazing so if you're looking for a motherboard and you're not sure this is absolutely stunning you know look at this graph so this is hardware unboxed by the way this is from them but the the written like review is masterpiece guys if you want to buy a motherboard and you want to compare what what is exactly the difference between them because it's very difficult to compare but this makes so much easier. This is amazing. I'm just really impressed. So, spoiler alert, guys. This is the best one, kind of. Yeah, but this is kind of the best one. It's really good. This ASRock motherboard, guys, it's amazing. And I will tell you why. First of all, the price, of course, is one of the, the cheapest one. And it's actually cheaper now than it is here. And look, all these golden like bars, yellow golden bars, this is their recommendation. However, be careful with that because the price has changed. And all of this is price to performance. Yeah? And many of these motherboards are cheaper now like a lot cheaper so some of the recommendations you know maybe are not valid anymore because like non-highlighted one can be better because they are so much cheaper like this one here you know they said this price is too high but if it would cost somewhere like here like this one maybe this is better huh and yeah so so let's talk about this amazing motherboard here so it doesn't have pci generation 5 for gpu however this is the generally not a problem because there is not a single GPU on the market that use that. Not even 4090 or 7900 XTX, none. The only thing that maybe, you know, some people would consider this as useful is if you bet that next generation GPUs will use that and you will buy it. Like 
fifty ninety come out and you you need it and and you buy it and you don't change anything. However, I you know you bet a lot of money because the cheapest one is you know you pay extra basically you pay extra for that. But maybe maybe it's worth yeah. But at the moment, not one GPU uses that. However, we have NVMe drive generation five and look this cheap motherboard. Well, inexpensive, not cheap. It's inexpensive. It's very good value. It's got generation five slot. And I know a lot of people saying, do not even think about this. They're very expensive. Yes, they are very expensive. There are problems with them as well. They are very expensive and they get very hot, but they offer double the performance of 4.0, double. And let's have a look at the pricing. So I've just checked generation five. So super expensive, yeah? Look at this one, super expensive. However, if you go like not top end, not like 1200 megabytes per second, but you know, cheaper one like this one here yeah it is expensive 150 comparing to 100 but look this one yeah, it's not maybe double but it's a lot faster it's a lot faster and you may think okay but it doesn't mean for gaming it's still plenty fast yes it is plenty fast but guys a lot of people are not aware this can affect gaming performance and you say what what are you talking about this is like one second uh, faster loading time maybe maybe not even that what are you talking about what gaming performance guys let me show you this is extreme example but there is more example like look if between super fast and super slow you've got more fps average but more important the one percent low the drops the slower the, the the hard drive or nvme drive the lower the drops you can get because the data coming too late to compute. So you get spikes as well. You've got stutters. So that's affect that. But say, so, okay, but this is like hard drive. Nobody is using hard drive. Okay. What about NVMe generation three comparing to NVMe generation uh, four tested in four spoken guys. So average and 1% drops. Look guys, well, this is generation four fast one comparing to generation three. NVMe. Look, you've got more performance, more FPS. Did you know that? You can bet with your friends. You know, said, guys, did you know that NVMe drive can affect your FPS? And they will laugh and they will bet like $100 with you. And you, you, you can win $100. You can upgrade your PC, guys. Yeah, interesting. So all the spikes, you know, they can affect the spikes, the starters. So maybe, you know, the generation five NVMe is not pointless. Maybe it's not that stupid, you know, and this is this beautiful motherboard guys from Azrock. $100 guys for AM5 it used to be very expensive motherboards and it offers you everything, almost everything, except really, you know, it's quite bad on the, on the back. There's very little connectivity here. It's very little. You've got a little bit more on the front, you know, for in, in your case, but it's not really great. So yeah, guys, this is pretty amazing motherboard and for me i think this is really really like wise choice because you spend more on motherboard it means you have less money usually you have less money for everything else you won't get any extra performance in gaming when you spend more money on a motherboard you're taking away from your gpu most likely so for me this this is amazing this is really great really great motherboard however if you want something more you can upgrade to Azrock for, for this one. It's also discounted from 220 to 180. And this one, the main thing about this, this is the cheapest or the least expensive motherboard with GPU PCI generation five. So you've got both NVMe and this one here. I don't know if it's worth it, but it's got Wi-Fi by the way, when this one doesn't. So be careful. Yeah, this, this is without Wi-Fi. For some people, it's a deal breaker. So there is that. Another one, this one, it's a funny looking one. Also without Wi-Fi, but look at the back, look at the connectivity. Beautiful. This is like premium, like a very premium motherboard, but for a very affordable price. If you don't need Wi-Fi, this is really amazing. This also amazing motherboard. All Azrock, so far all Azrock. Another one from Gigabyte. And the price is very good. Not much more expensive from the basic one. Got very good on the back, even you know, digital output. Very cool. So very good. But what I like about this motherboard, and I'm a bit salty about this as well, guys, because for me, I cannot believe this is actually happening, is the easy release latch. You know, so 
this one gpu rack retention clip you know so you see and this one here for easier release guys this is I, i'm so salty about this because it's such a big issue to change your gpu in some cases like if you have a big air cooler and big gpu it's almost impossible to to press this one and you can damage your gpu you can damage motherboard and in many cases you know people even break this one because it's stuck it's so stupid i don't i don't understand it's it exists for so many years and it's like ridiculous this is supposed to be industry standard it's supposed to make it easier to press yeah i really like this motherboard even for that this calls what easy latch guys easy latch how come this is a future and not an industry standard i don't understand and in some motherboards you know when you have headsync here another headsync here and this one in between it's almost impossible to press this button your GPU stuck forever. It's like married to motherboard forever, for lifetime. And guys, look, and let's me play this one. There's an advertisement selling motherboards based on this one feature, guys. Let's, let me play this one. This is me, by the way, like trying to... Guys, you see how this guy looks like? How he is dressed? Smart casual. It means he's smart. He's smart. I'm, I still don't understand how such a basic feature as removing your GPU is a premium feature. Otherwise, it's a, such a pain. I, I I'm really don't understand. So I'm really salty about this. And I would probably buy that motherboard just because of that retention clip of th this one here. This is another motherboard very expensive by the way very expensive however this overpriced motherboard maybe makes sense I'm, another thing where i'm salty so let's let's look at this motherboard look look at the price however it actually can make sense one thing guys why this you know this error code why this is not industry standard is it 200 dollars i don't think so guys how come you know i'm so sold because something wrong with a motherboard like your pc doesn't start and it's just blinking and making sound it's just annoying stuff how you even google that with this one it's just easy you know Co error code na number three and you just google number three and you know you know what's going on oh it's your memory Okay, or whatever, you know, I'm just making make this up. So this is already amazing. Now, this motherboard, guys, is like so many amazing features. Yes, it's expensive, but look, double CPU connection. You don't need it, but when you see both, you feel it's premium. But this is gimmick, actually, a little bit. But look at this. One of the best, I think maybe the best audio codec, 480, 4080. All this, you know, so good audio very cool look at this look at this beauty this is like so premium there is no more space for anything else and look bios flashback and clear cmos button both of them so many usb 3.2 generation 2 amazing the optical audio out port and free design look you can connect subwoofer you can have premium sound and look guys you've got this button you've got button here the the release for gpu how co i just cannot believe this is not industry standard you've got four m2 dot slot you don't need it but you you get it and you've got two pci 5.0 i don't know what for i i don't think anybody will use that but this is really amazing motherboard but do you need it guys do you do you need to spend extra what you get for me the only good well there's two good things about this mother well three actually no three things that actually good is the audio codec is the release button this one the error code and of course a lot of connectivity on, on the back so maybe maybe it's worth this price it's quite a lot and you know like in uk this motherboard is not that expensive it's you know we have higher prices so this, with such a big discount you know i would consider actually but otherwise this is like a must like this is amazing this motherboard is just amazing I'm just salty about this, you know, this latch here, like stupid. Actually, I would probably upgrade my next motherboard and completely remove it. I, I don't think I need it because on, on my last mother, I'm so salty because on my last motherboard, it's stuck. I couldn't remove my GPU. It's like the, the whole button broke. So I had to break it completely. 
So now my motherboard doesn't even have this button. And I think my motherboard got upgraded accidentally. So I really don't like this. I really don't like how it's solved and how difficult it is to press. It's just, you know, I'm salty. And another thing I'm salty, just on a side note, guys, is with the cases, there is no front panels anymore. And a lot of cases have no, like, usb ports on the front just two or maybe three usb ports not anymore like in the past it wouldn't be that problem because you could you could add this you could add this and you you had this usb ports in front but now everything is on the back and i just wonder you know if i don't care about the look maybe i should turn the pc case around so i actually have all the important stuff available to me so i don't have to on the back on the case and connect something but i have everything all the io from uh, motherboard in front because this cool stuff i cannot connect anymore there's so little cases like this yeah you know usa you can you can buy this one but in uk i cannot get this uh, this case anymore most cases has nothing in the front so i cannot connect this stuff here you know all the usbs on the back now apart maybe two they you know i get only two on the case and i cannot connect something like this look look at the price 32 you know now you still can get that as a like a premium add-on to your case but it costs like 200 dollars or at least 100 not 30 dollars but this one you could normally add to, to this slot here you know with your like blu-ray drive or usb ports or this uh, fan controllers but now you know everything is on the back i think we're going backwards in many in with many things so yeah guys i think you know for ryzen 7000 i think this motherboard is just amazing i don't think you should pay extra unless you really want unless you really want some features but really you spending more on a motherboard you mean you have less money for gpu so yeah guys i think this is amazing this is a really good motherboard okay guys uh thank you for watching i hope you enjoy uh let me know what motherboard you've got how much extra you've spent on your motherboard over over this price and yeah thank you for watching and see you later